1 Chronicles chapter 26 The Divisions of the Gatekeepers From the Korahites, Meshulamiah, son of Kore, one of the sons of Asaph. Meshulamiah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediael the second, Zebediah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, and Elihohenai the seventh. Obededom also had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sekar the fourth, Nathanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Peulatai the eighth. For God had blessed Obededom. Obededom's son Shemaiah also had sons, who were leaders in their father's family, because they were very capable men. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, Raphael, Obed, Elzebad. His relatives Elihu and Semachiah were also able men. All these were descendants of Obed-Edom. They and their sons and their relatives were capable men, with the strength to do the work. Descendants of Obed-Edom, sixty-two in all. Meshilamiah had sons and relatives who were able men, eighteen in all. Hosa the Merarite had sons. Shimrai the first, although he was not the firstborn, his father had appointed him first. Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, and Zechariah the fourth. The sons and relatives of Hosa were thirteen in all. These divisions of the gatekeepers through their leaders had duties for ministering in the temple of the Lord just as their relatives had. Lots were cast for each gate according to their families, young and old alike. The lot for the east gate fell to Shelemiah. The lots were cast for his son Zechariah, a wise counsellor, and the lot for the north gate fell to him. The lot for the south gate fell to Obed-Edom, and the lot for the storehouse fell to his sons. The lots for the west gate and the Shalaketh gate on the upper road fell to Shupim and Hosa. Guard was alongside guard. There were six Levites, a day on the east, four a day on the north, four a day on the south, and two at a time at the storehouse. As for the court to the west, there were four at the road and two at the court itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers, who were descendants of Korah and Merari. Their fellow Levites were in charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries for the dedicated things. The descendants of Laden, who were Gershonites through Laden, and who were heads of families belonging to Laden the Gershonite, were Jehaelai, the sons of Jehaelai, Zetham and his brother Joel. They were in charge of the treasuries of the temple of the Lord. From the Amramites, the Isarites, the Hebronites, and the Azielites. Shubael, a descendant of Gershom, son of Moses, was the official in charge of the treasuries. His relatives, through Eliezer, Rehabiah, his son, Jeshiah his son, Joram his son, Zikri his son, and Shalomith his son. Shalomith and his relatives were in charge of all the treasuries for the things dedicated by King David, by the heads of families who were the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and by the other army commanders. Some of the plunder taken in battle they dedicated for the repair of the temple of the Lord. And everything dedicated by Samuel the seer, and by Saul son of Kish, Abner son of Ner, and Joab son of Zeruiah, and all the other dedicated things were in the care of Shalomith and his relatives. From the Israelites, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned duties away from the temple as officials and judges over Israel. From the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his relatives, seventeen hundred able men, were responsible in Israel west of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the king's service. As for the Hebronites, Jeriah was their chief according to the genealogical records of their families. In the fortieth year of David's reign, a search was made in the records, and capable men among the Hebronites were found at Jazer in Gilead. Jeriah had two thousand seven hundred relatives, who were able men and heads of families and King David put them in charge of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king.
1 Chronicles chapter 27 This is the list of the Israelites, heads of families, commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and their officers who served the king in all that concerned the army divisions that were on duty month by month throughout the year. Each division consisted of 24,000 men. In charge of the first division for the first month was Jashobian, son of Zabdiel. There were 24,000 men in his division. He was a descendant of Pires and chief of all the army officers for the first month. In charge of the division for the second month was Dodai the Ahohite. Mikloth was the leader of his division. There were 24,000 men in his division. The third army commander for the third month was Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. He was chief, and there were 24,000 men in his division. This was the Benaiah, who was a mighty warrior among the thirty, and was over the thirty. His son, Amizabad, was in charge of his division. The fourth, for the fourth month, was Azahel, the brother of Joab. His son, Zebediah, was his successor. There were 24,000 men in his division. The fifth, for the fifth month, was the commander Shamhuth, the Israelite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The sixth, for the sixth month, was Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The seventh, for the seventh month, was Hiles, the Pelonite, an Ephraimite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The eighth, for the eighth month, was Sibakai, the Hushathite, a Zirahite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The ninth for the ninth month was Abiza, the Anathathite, a Benjaminite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The tenth for the tenth month was Maharai, the Natophathite, a Zerahite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The eleventh for the eleventh month was Benaiah, the Parathonite, an Ephraimite. There were 24,000 men in his division. The twelfth for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Natophathite, from the family of Othniel. There were 24,000 men in his division. The Leaders of the Tribes of Israel Over the Reubenites, Eliezer, son of Zikri. Over the Simeonites, Shephatiah, son of Maacah. Over Levi, Hashabiah, son of Kemuel. Over Aaron, Zadok. Over Judah, Elihu, a brother of David. Over Issachar, Omri, son of Michael. Over Zebulun, Ishmael, son of Obadiah. Over Naphtali, Jeremoth, son of Azriel. Over the Ephraimites, Hoshea, son of Azaziah. Over half the tribe of Manasseh, Joel, son of Padiah. Over the half tribe of Manasseh and Gilead, Ido, son of Zechariah. Over Benjamin, Jehaziel, son of Abna. Over Dan, Azarel, son of Jeroham. These were the leaders of the tribes of Israel. David did not take the number of the men twenty years old or less, because the Lord had promised to make Israel as numerous as the stars in the sky. Joab, son of Zeruiah, began to count the men but did not finish. God's wrath came on Israel on account of this numbering, and the number was not entered in the book of the annals of King David. As Maveth, son of Adiel, was in charge of the royal storehouses, Jonathan, son of Uzziah, was in charge of the storehouses in the outlying districts, in the towns, the villages, and the watchtowers. Ezrai, son of Kelub, was in charge of the workers who farmed the land. Shimei, the Ramathite, was in charge of the vineyards. Zabdai, the Shifmite, was in charge of the produce of the vineyards for the wine vats. Baal Hanan, the Gedirite, was in charge of the olive and sycamore fig trees in the western foothills. Joash was in charge of the supplies of olive oil. Shitrei, the Sharonite, was in charge of the herds grazing in Sharon. Shaphat, son of Adlai, was in charge of the herds in the valleys. Obil, the Ishmaelite, was in charge of the camels. Jediah, the Moronathite, was in charge of the donkeys. Jazes, 
the Hagrag was in charge of the flocks. All these were the officials in charge of King David's property. Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counsellor, a man of insight and a scribe. Jehiel, son of Hagmoni, took care of the king's sons. Ahitophel was the king's counsellor. Giushai, the archite, was the king's confidant. Ahitophel was succeeded by Jehoiada, son of Benaiah, and by Abiathar. Joab was the commander of the royal army. 1 Chronicles chapter 28 David summoned all the officials of Israel to assemble at Jerusalem. The officers over the tribes, the commanders of the divisions in the service of the king, the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and the officials in charge of all the property and livestock belonging to the king and his sons, together with the palace officials, the warriors, and all the brave fighting men. King David rose to his feet and said, Listen to me, my fellow Israelites, my people. I had it in my heart to build a house as a place of rest for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord, for the footstool of our God, and I made plans to build it. But God said to me, You are not to build a house for my name, because you are a warrior and have shed blood. Yet the Lord, the God of Israel, chose me from my whole family to be king over Israel for ever. He chose Judah as leader, and from the tribe of Judah he chose my family, and from my father's sons he was pleased to make me king over all Israel. Of all my sons, and the Lord has given me many, he has chosen my son Solomon to sit on the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel. He said to me, Solomon, your son, is the one who will build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. I will establish his kingdom for ever, if he is unswerving in carrying out my commands and laws, as is being done at this time. So now I charge you in the sight of all Israel, and of the assembly of the Lord, and in the hearing of our God, be careful to follow all the commands of the Lord your God, that you may possess this good land and pass it on as an inheritance to your descendants for ever. And you, my son Solomon, acknowledge the God of your father and serve him with wholehearted devotion and with a willing mind, for the Lord searches every heart and understands every desire and every thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. Consider now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house as the sanctuary. Be strong and do the work. Then David gave his son Solomon the plans for the portico of the temple, its buildings, its storerooms, its upper parts, its inner rooms, and the place of atonement. He gave him the plans of all that the Spirit had put in his mind, for the courts of the temple of the Lord and all the surrounding rooms, for the treasuries of the temple of God, and for the treasuries of the dedicated things. He gave him instructions for the divisions of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of serving in the temple of the Lord, as well as for all the articles to be used in its service. He designated the weight of gold for all the gold articles to be used in various kinds of service, and the weight of the silver for all the silver articles to be used in various kinds of service. The weight of gold for the gold lampstands and their lamps, with the weight for each lampstand and its lamps, and the weight of silver for each silver lampstand and its lamps, according to the use of each lampstand, the weight of gold for each table for consecrated bread, the weight of silver for the silver tables, the weight of pure gold for the forks, sprinkling bowls and pitchers, the weight of gold for each gold dish, the weight of silver for each silver dish, and the weight of the refined gold for the altar of incense. He also gave him the plan for the chariot, that is, the cherubim of gold that spread their wings and overshadow the ark of the covenant of the Lord. All this, David said, I have in writing as a result of the Lord's hand on me, and he enabled me to understand all the details of the plan. David also said to Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous and do the work. 
Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the temple of the Lord is finished. The divisions of the priests and Levites are ready for all the work on the temple of God, and every willing person skilled in any craft will help you in all the work. The officials and all the people will obey your every command. Psalm 144 Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. He is my loving God and my fortress, my stronghold and my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge, who subdues peoples under me. Lord, what are human beings that you care for them, mere mortals that you think of them? They are like a breath, their days are like a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, my God. On the ten-stringed lyre I will make music to you, to the one who gives victory to kings, who delivers his servant David. From the deadly sword deliver me. Rescue me from the hands of foreigners whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every kind of provision. Our sheep will increase by thousands, by tens of thousands in our fields. Our oxen will draw heavy loads. There will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. Proverbs chapter 20 Wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. A king's wrath strikes terror like the roar of a lion. Those who anger him forfeit their lives. It is to one's honour to avoid strife, but every fool is quick to quarrel. Sluggards do not plough in season, so at harvest time they look but find nothing. The purposes of a person's heart are deep waters, but one who has insight draws them out. Many claim to have unfailing love, but a faithful person who can find. The righteous lead blameless lives. Blessed are their children after them. When a king sits on his throne to judge, he winnows out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart pure, I am clean and without sin? Differing weights and differing measures, the Lord detests them both. Even small children are known by their actions, so is their conduct really pure and upright? Ears that hear and eyes that see, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, or you will grow poor. Stay awake, and you will have food to spare. It's no good, it's no good, says the buyer. Then goes off and boasts about the purchase. Gold there is, and rubies in abundance, but lips that speak knowledge are a rare jewel. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in pledge if it is done for an outsider. Food gained by fraud tastes sweet, but one ends up with a mouth full of gravel. Plans are established by seeking advice, so if you wage war, obtain guidance. A gossip betrays a confidence, so avoid anyone who talks too much. If someone curses their father or mother, their lamp will be snuffed out in pitch darkness. An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. 
Do not say, I'll pay you back for this wrong. Wait for the Lord, and he will avenge you. The Lord detests differing weights, and dishonest scales do not please him. A person's steps are directed by the Lord. How then can anyone understand their own way? It is a trap to dedicate something rashly, and only later to consider one's vows. A wise king winnows out the wicked. He drives the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. Love and faithfulness keep a king safe. Through love his throne is made secure. The glory of young men is their strength, gray hair the splendor of the old. Blows and wounds scrub away evil, and beatings purge the inmost being. 